So today uh, at Global Diversity, we're launching the Black Asian Minority Ethnic Women's Resource Centre. We get approached by schools and colleges to um, ask inspiring um, women to come and talk to the children at the local schools. And I just thought there must be a more structured way of doing this. So the whole idea of, of this is providing a resource for schools where you can get um, inspirational people, particularly women, to come and talk to the children, run career sessions, run um, tell their story, but just to inspire the kids. Well, the person who's going to be running um, the BAME Women's Resource is um, Sharon Sandu, and um, she's invited me down here to say a few words. When I'm going to say my piece, um, I'm going to be thinking about my mum. Um, because mothers are the universal creation for everything, yeah? And that's, I'll have her firmly centered in my mind as I speak about um, the celebration of women. I would say, Sharon, you're very strong, single-minded, visionary, and also an inspiration to anyone who's interested in making the world a better place than what it was yesterday. It's fantastic what Sharon's doing for the community, you know, of Huddersfield in terms of, you know, really supporting and helping the community that's that's here today. Um, something as an architect and a woman in the construction industry as well is, you know, it is actually, you know, it's still very, very male dominated. What we want to do is we want to promote, you know, architecture more to females in this industry as well. So, so working with Sharon, you know, it'd be great to, uh, to spread the word in local colleges, universities. I've worked closely with Sharon before, uh, predominantly in the youth arena, so looking at youth outreach projects, raising aspirations, employability skills um, with, and with global diversity so it's really exciting to be involved in yet another one of her projects specifically into the female integration area. I think for me a lot of it is about awareness and, and access um, so certainly for me I didn't grow up in a military family so it wasn't until I had my first uh, exposure to the military that I actually realised it was the, the kind of vocation and the career for me so I think anything that we can do with any communities whether it's youth or be it be BAME um, is to kind of give a, showcase what's out there so people can actually identify what they may be good at and what they could do in the future. My day is very, very busy, but I made sure that I found some time to come to this important event because, like I said, that to promote this agenda around women and getting them into positions higher up the hierarchy, there are men who will help them do that. This event it was inspiring because it's not just for black, it's for Asian, ethnic minorities and the work that they do is amazing, it really is. Hopefully, I'm hoping, you know, this will bring communities together and it will provide them the help and support for not just for, for abuse and that, but for women to stand back on their feet again. If we make that resource free, we'd like the children, particularly the girls, to benefit from an inspiring role model. Somebody like yourself, Namila, to go in, tell your story, you know, what did you do, how did you do it, what inspired you, because that could be a game changer for somebody who's listening.